Hi, welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm going to show you a fantastic um, dish. It's a king prawn dish and it's a Bangladeshi Sileti region, uh, a king prawn buna style curry. Um, I've asked my auntie to cook it for me because if I mention authentic, I want it to be bang on authentic. When I'm cooking it, I always tweak it, I can't help it. So um, today is going to be a king prawn buna curry. Now when you go to an Indian restaurant, when you order king prawns, it's norm normally very expensive. Reason being, uh, we use the massive king prawns which get shipped in from Bangladesh and um, it's very expensive. And when we cook it in the restaurant, either, either we take the shell off and just leave the tail on to resemble the prawns and it also looks cute. Uh, but this time I went to the fishmongers and I found these wonderful um, prawns which I'm going to cook for you. So hopefully you'll enjoy an authentic Sileti Bangladeshi uh, King Prawn Buna Curry. Right, today's special recipe. Lovely King Prawns. Beautiful in size. So just cutting a bit of the head and all its little legs and its tail. Shell dahboni. So it's gonna keep its shell. So I'll show you. So just a bit of the head and all the legs. There you go. Now we're gonna do that to all of these. Bismillah. Just putting some vegetable oil in. That's four tablespoons, five tablespoons. Add in, add in, add in. Now we're going to add some garlic. This was just blended down garlic. You can go on the The oil is nice and hot. Now this is the onions, and uh, it's about um, 240 grams of onions. So look. Oh. Now we add in the pinta mm -hmm. Three. Now we add in three bay leaves. Look. Now we add in some salt. So. Just one and a half teaspoon of salt. Now we want the onions to soften up. Reason for adding the salt. It's like a catalyst. Softens the onion, draws out the liquid from the onions, the natural sugars, caramelizes the onions as well as softens it up. Now we started off on a high gas, now I put it down on a very low, uh, medium to low gas. If you're on the electric hob, uh, put it on a low gas, put the lid on and let the onions soften up. So it's been about five, six minutes. The onions are caramelizing beautifully, but we need it to be softened up a little bit more. So just a cup of boiling hot water. Now if you realise, we put the garlic in first, caramelised the garlic, then we put the onions in and we didn't put any ginger. We don't use ginger in fish curries uh, in Bangladesh. I'm not sure you can use it. I'm not Especially in the Silet region. Um, in other regions, they do put uh, uh, ginger, I've seen, but how we have been eating since we were young, um, it's just been garlic to be honest with you and we use quite a fair bit of garlic so since I put the water in put the gas up to high again and put the lid on normally onions takes about 10 to 12 minutes to soften up so on my time I've got about four minutes left so hopefully put the gas up to high put the lid on there's some water there that should soften up in about four minutes right that's been since the onions gone in it's about 12 minutes there we go. The water almost evaporated, I can see the oil. Now the onions are cooked. We put the gas back down to a medium low 
And now my auntie is going to put the spices in. Here's the masala, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of curry powder. By the way, I've had loads of messages. I use the East End brand, that's the best brand. And that's the one I would recommend. And coriander powder, coriander, there's some of this on Anigo. Dunya. And that's two teaspoons of ground coriander and one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. Bismillah. Hopefully it's going to make it nice and tasty. The spices are the seasoning, so like, the, like you would add salt and pepper to get the flavour. So you need to get it right. Too much is going to destroy it and just about right would make it a fantastic, phenomenal taste. Yes, you can use the right amount of the right amount of the right amount of right amount of the you need to be careful, Don't, do not overpower, um, unless you like it really hot, then you can add the chilli powders. So if you like a madras dish uh, for this specific uh, ingredient, add about two, two and a half teaspoons of chilli powder. If you like a vindaloo, then add about four to five teaspoons of chilli powder. But that's it. Now we're going to add the tomatoes. It's going to build a nice tangy and it's also going to be a nice thickener to the sauce. So these are the prawns. So the prawns are going in. There you go. Look amazing. You can't beat fresh water fish. I mean in Bengali households. We use a lot of frozen um, fish because obviously you can't get the freshwater fish. Um, Bengalis are nicknamed uh, fishy because they eat a lot of fish. Um, so they can't live without fish, so we get exported all the best fishes to England. And unfortunately, the people of Bangladesh, they're kept with the leftovers. And we in Britain get the best fishes. So that's it, the fish has gone in. And we're going to do this uh, for about five, five, six minutes, and then we're going to add the maybe some water. Funny, do you want anybody? Oh, no, 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 The prawns are changing colour from a grey, it's now come to a nice pinky colour. Beautiful. Smells amazing. This is onions and lots of garlic and green chilies. We're going to cook some spinach. In fact, I'll show you the spinach. It's red spinach. Go look at this lovely red spinach. This is imported from Bangladesh. Lovely jubbly. Beautiful. Which we're going to add. So once all the onions and garlic and everything caramelize it, then we're going to add the red spinach. Right, this is some fresh coriander from the, our front yard. We're going to use this, we're quite fortunate. And now, this is not from the front garden, but we're going to add this. Put the gas down to about low, sort of stick into the bottom, but it's perfectly fine. It's going to build the caramelization. Is there any funny? No, no, no. I'm going to cook it for a little bit more longer and then we're going to add some water for a nice sauce. So, red spinach cooking away. Beautiful, amazing. So quite fortunate, lovely prawn curry with red spinach side dish. Beautiful. Gonna check up on the prawns. Wow, look at this. Amazing. Now I'm getting a bit nervous. Normally I don't like to overcook 
the prawns but this is my auntie's method and she knows what she's doing she's been cooking for years so this is how she likes her prawns smells wonderful so she wants this to cook down properly and I think what she wants is the oil to rise to the top slightly so it's the all the ingredients are cooked thoroughly and then she'll decide whether to put the uh, water in or not remember this is a boona so a nice thick sauce right since we added the prawn it's been cooking away on a slow gas and the colour is looking amazing and you can have the curry like this or you can cook the you can have the curry like this this is a very intensified all right so you can have this this is a proper authentic buna but i prefer with a bit of sauce and i'm sure a lot of my viewers do so we're going to add a cup of boiling water and what this is going to do is create this lovely sauce and just a few minutes so we're going to do is we're going to so the gas is on low we're going to put the gas to a medium high and simmer it down and it should be ready shortly dunya e bladi tani na bade di bada mai wash mai no no dile no dile ekta zal diya la mai diwa ne so fresh coriander, this is from the front garden. Smells wonderful. Put the lid on. And it's a medium heat. I'm gonna give it a few minutes. Voila. And let's look at the spinach. Wow, look at this color. Sort of looks like red cabbage, but it's actually spinach. Wonderful. All the Bangladeshi viewers know exactly what this is. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish I could put this in my restaurant. Maybe I will have to one day. It's beautiful flavours. The prawn curry is simmering away. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Fresh prawns in its own jackets on the shelf. Beautiful. You can smell the fresh coriander, green chilies, spices, fresh seawater prawns. Absolutely gorgeous. Amazing fragrance and looks very pretty. Shall I show you something now? What you can say? So I think the curry is done. Beautiful. Lots of TLC gone into this prawns. Now we're going to serve. So it took about 40 minutes for it to get cooked, but we cooked it thoroughly and it should have some amazing flavours. Bangladeshi freshwater prawn buna curry on its shell. Beautiful, nice and spicy, fresh ingredients. And if you've enjoyed this, prawn dish don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'd love to see you on instagram and facebook if you have social media on it thank you very much see you soon